So imagine the excitement in February 1920 when Duncan Grant's first solo exhibition opened. All his family, all his Bloomsbury friends were there. And, and, the, and the exhibition was a, a great success. He'd been working on it for a good two years. The earliest painting was from 1915. But it had been since the, since the war ended in November 1918 that Duncan Grant really had an opportunity to work on this show and to prepare all these works. He'd been a conscientious objector in the First World War, so he'd had to work on a farm for five, six days a week. So the opportunities to paint were quite scarce then. But with, uh, relieved from farm work and being able to concentrate on his work, he was able to really expand his canvas and his vision and to, um, to prepare works for this sort of monumental show. The works are a real mixture. So some of the critics were concerned that some of the more abstract works really didn't show Grant's work in the best light. They loved paintings like Room with a View. They loved its energy, this wonderful use of color and this freshness, this sort of spring morning, uh, the first spring of peacetime and then the optimism it has. But they were more concerned with Grant's use of abstraction in paintings like Venus and Adonis, that they felt that he was just using abstraction as a sort of a gimmick, sort of laying it on the subject rather than drawing abstraction out of the subject. So he had support from his Bloomsbury friends. He had uh, reviews printed by Clive Bell and Roger Fry. But Roger Fry in particular had concerns that Duncan Grant was not exploring the, the subject and the object uh, deep enough that he wasn't presenting his subjects with enough solidness, with enough colour. Clive Bell, on the other hand, really celebrated Duncan Grant's work and he made a statement that at last we have, in England, a painter whom Europe may take seriously. So the show was a, a critical success but also a financial one. There were 31 paintings and 24 of them sold, um, giving Duncan Grant a nice amount of money to continue his, his art practice. It was such an important part, so 1920, so the war period was behind and it kind of heralded this sort of new decade of excitement and modernism for Britain.